Alright, so welcome back to the free to play walkthrough. Uh, last time we did the Ice Orb, and we did Ganloth and the Dragsvard section, uh, which is right here. And now we're going to be starting for the Energy Orb in Pulse Rocket, so we're going to be starting with Pipe Dreams. The good to Pulse Rocket now. Uh, this is always one of my favourite areas of the game. Uh, to run down all things though, we've got a weapon shop here. You can get a class, it's kind of shit, so I would not buy it if I were you. Like a tank that you get to sit in, it's kind of weird. Uh, we have a shop here with loads of metal based weapons. So if you, that's a bit weird. If you're interested in that, um, quite weird stuff. I don't see why you would want any of this. But then again, 14,000, are you serious? <laughs> Uh, we have a housing shop over here to the left. Uh, we can buy our house items. And we have the travel beach. I don't know why you'd use her. Because you might as well do it on the travel map. Uh, we also have maybe something. Okay, that's it. Well, we do have a little hairdresser. Saloon. So you can change your hair if you want. You do need a dragon on me though. And then we have Yeeks over here, which is our like main guy. Uh, we can become a Teclamancer, which is a really good class, so I recommend this one if you like. Um, it's free to play, which is really good. Uh, we're gonna start with Pipe Dreams, though. We've got all of these quests and all of these on here. So a pretty big quest side, but not too big. But we're gonna start with this. Um, you can talk to him if you like. Uh, these enemies are weak to a uh, water minus 15 and that's it really I didn't really go down on like a rundown of the stuff because at the end of the day it's not like there isn't too many resistances for the enemies in this quest line apart from water and now this quest was always really annoying in certain places uh, we have it's like a little puzzle I think we have to do three times. We have to connect the um stuff. So um this one will go down now. This will go there you go. Yeah. And uh, these go straight. They never go down, they always go straight. And uh, we have to connect it to this timer thing over here. Um so sometimes you get really lucky, but sometimes you just don't and like it does get very annoying. I always hated this bit. Um, I did get better at it over time though, and I don't really have too much trouble with it anymore. Uh, we need straight. There you go. Okay, so now we just have to wait for the um, war ticket to get down. And I'm just gonna mess around a bit before we <laughs> continue. It doesn't really do anything if you do this. You can spam it. I don't know why you would do that, but you know. And then after that we have some more of these enemies that we just have to get past. And now we're on a second one. So I'm not entirely sure but I think the water now speeds up a little bit. So we have to be a little bit faster. I really need to start heading down. Uh, there you go. <laughs> the water is start, gonna start going faster I believe. Oh shit, I'm not too sure though. Don't quote me on that but either way we just have to rush it anyway so it doesn't really make too much difference. And one last piece, there you go. And now we're on the last one. Uh, we're gonna have to be really quick with this one. Uh, come on, I hate these so much. I think if you lose, by the way, if you fail it, um, you have to fight an enemy as like a punishment for losing, I guess. Um, no, oh my god, I'm I'm gonna fail. I am go. Fuck it. Oh. No, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, oh, come on. Yes, oh. <laughs> and now we are finished. Finally. Uh, these trash cogs are what you use to upgrade your Texamancer, I believe. Um, but yeah, we've done that quest. That is definitely the longest and, I guess, hardest quest of the storyline. So yeah, now we have these uh, Mecha Griffins. So, um, lead to water. Resistant to metal and energy and 50% chance of stun. And the tool building has been vanished, taken by Sepulcher. 
And now the quest is over. That one took quite a while. Mainly because there's griffins to go out to kill. And there's quite a lot of them. Alright, so up next, Richard's gear. Um, I think this quest is quite short, but there's like a boss battle in this quest. Uh, these guys, same with what we've already killed. But we have these guys here, the Cyclone Pummelers. Uh, they have pretty much the same resistances. They're just a little bit stronger and have a lot more HP. Well, a little bit more. They have like 80 more HP. <laughs> Alright, there's a nice healing pad here. We get past these stupid vents. I think the quest is almost done at this point. Um, I don't know if we have to go a certain way. That we have to go this way. Can't remember. Oh, right, so the door's locked. We have to go to up here first, I guess, and then unlock it. I don't remember this one too much. All right, so up here we have a pretty another big, pretty big another big man. Um, the same with him. Guys that were just killed, they just got a shit ton of HP. It's got like more than double the HP of the ones that were just killed, so it's gonna take us a couple of minutes to kill him. But it should be easy enough. It'll just Well, he's actually quite powerful. Okay, well he does about three times as much damage as the other guys as well. Okay, so it's like a mini boss battle in himself, technically. Alright, we killed that guy, and now we can turn this, there you go. Uh, we're gonna go down and get a heal. I can't remember, but I think the boss battle, um, I think he does give us a chance to heal. But just in case he doesn't, it'd be a bit stupid if we didn't get this, wouldn't it? So, um, we're definitely out. I'm not gonna, I dodged it. Okay, so we got a massive gerbil. Big gerbil, um... Okay, so water mana 15, metal 150, energy 70, immobility 50. Literally got the exact same um, stats as all the other enemies. So, um, yeah. Alright, so a pretty tough fight, but we got him. Uh, another charge cog. Uh, we're going to start with Patrobel's cannon. This was always one of my favourite quests in the game. <laughs> it's it's so funny, where like, you just uh, miss the thing, the wheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Jeez, it's just triple battles constantly, and all the stupid enemies have like loads of health. It's like fuck off. Jeez. And after about 25 minutes, we've finally done all the triple battles. And I'm not sure, but maybe we have to fight this guy. I hope not. Yes. Make it on quest. Yes. Quest is make it on. Um, I'll keep that. Might as well. It's all 50. I probably never get to 50, but... Yeah, no. Nah. Insurmountable. We're talking to Captain Roloth again. We need this help. But he isn't going to give us any help because he's a twat. <laughs> um, so these hunters, these bandits have just got nothing. Basic bandits, don't really need to worry about them. And we go to level up after doing another triple battle. Yay, triple battle, surgeon. Then we have this guy, Sir Repetitious. Awesome. Another sword, might as well keep that. Might as well keep whatever we find if we can use it. A roller solution, a cutscene. Uh, now we're on X Machina. I forgot to um say. <laughs> so this guy, um, Dave V384.16, is come from the future, I think. He has a, a message, like a vision for us. We have some burn fires. Um. I think actually these guys are resistant to fire. Yes, they are. Okay, so I'm very glad I didn't hit them. I don't have a light weapon, do I? No. Okay, kind of sad. Um, the best weapon I have is this, and I can't use it, so I'm gonna have to go to a level 10. God damn it. Uh, these guys are not fire based, though, so um, I can switch back to my fire weapon. So if you got a light weapon, then that would be very good. I mean, these guys are Shakespeare's, which I'm pretty sure are exactly the same. Yes, they are. It's the guy that we just killed. And we have these weird things, the Shadow Hounds. Uh, light minus 30, immobility 85, and dynamics 90. And we have a sniper rifle focus on Sepulchre. If only that was so easy. Get Draka. Get Draka first. He deserves it the most. Sort of an annoyance. No, Dave. He chopped his arm off. Chopped him in half. No, and Dave is no more. He didn't last very long, but he was my best friend. Uh, and now we have two war. This was like an old war for the game that you do not have to do anymore. Uh, we'll have a quick look at it there. Um, if the game didn't crash, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna completely skip over this war because I did not want the game get to crash again. I'm on the City Fights Back, which is the final quest. Pop Socket is turning into a giant robot and is about to attack us, I guess. But we can't do this, so we have to let the Dragon Law handle this. <laughs> so basically, we would have had to have fought the, um,. Big guy, but we didn't get a chance. That times. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want a little 40 helmet. Uh, I think that's it. Maybe. I guess. Um, under the sea, we can't do. It's a dragon amulet quest. Um, but yeah, uh, let's have a look at our book of law. Yeah, we've got the energy orb right here. Um, yeah. We've done. Uh, next time, though, uh, we'll be starting the fire war. Now, this will probably be like two or three parts along. I won't be able to do this on in one go. It's too much. I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes right now. So, um, yeah, this is taking me like three hours to do. Either way, though, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.